Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dot Matrix display video. What you're looking at may appear to be the same Hanover flip dot display that I've previously shown on the channel. But actually, this one's a little different. It's a 98 by 16 Mobitech flip dot display uh, that I got a few months ago from a scrap scan it on the city service bus. And thanks to PSV Automobilia providing a power supply and controller, I've got it up and running in the household. The controller it's paired with is a standard Mobitech ICU 400 with the USB port as opposed to the smart media card. This is probably the most commonly found controller in the UK at the minute and is definitely the best that Mobitech offer. It's generally more user friendly than the ICU 402s and 403s that came later. The case and general design of these is very similar to the Hanover ones. Unfortunately, my one is suffering a little bit. As you can see, some of the dots in the middle are fading from green to white, as you can see roughly around here. Uh, some of them also stick when you change the message. That's just a result of age. It's not been regularly lubricated. Usually when you have a flip dot, it's recommended you use some, some something like um, WD-40 to keep everything oiled up so none of them get stuck over time. There's also a couple of non-functioning ones over on the corner. As I turn on the flip dot, you'll notice it does have a working backlight as opposed to the old Hanover one I had. It's a strip of ADs mounted to the bottom of the case and they do a good job at lighting up, especially in the dark. Uh, the destinations you're going to see in the video are for Vectalia or Subus, which are a bus operator in Alicante who used similar Mobitech flip dots in a lot of their old Mercedes-Benz Citaros, which have now been scrapped, unfortunately. Taking a look at the controller, the general principle is different to the Hanover ones. With these ICU 400s, you have six buttons along the top and the bottom to change the program number. So in my case, it's route and destination. So the general idea is these two change the 100s, so up and down. These two the 10s, these two the 1s. So if you pressed that, it would go up by 1, down by 1, up 10, down 10. You get the idea. My displays are ordered by route number and destination instead. So as you can see up here, we have routes. So we can go up to the O2s and stuff, C6s. It goes up in order of number until it gets to zero again. And then to change a destination, so if we want private hire, you tap that so it goes to destination. You can go up, scroll up. And I just realized we haven't got private hire, so we'll go shuttle. And in time, it'll update the destination. Anyway, to stop rambling on, let's move on to the bit you all came here for, and that's to see the flip button action. So I'll switch through various displays. As I said, they're from Vectalia Alicante. As you can see, here's our logo. Um, and yeah, enjoy.
Last of all, you may remember with the Hanover one, I demonstrated the test feature. Whilst this does technically have one, the Mobitech version isn't all that good. So I created a testing one where it just flashes all the dots on and off. And you can see a couple are sticky and a couple don't work, but the majority do. So if I just give this a little, so they slowly come back to life. Yes, that's most of them. As you can see, there's a few on the right that do not work. Sadly, I can't get them off just yet. But if you look closely, you can depict a bit better the white marks. It looks like it's been sat saying, sorry, not in service. Well, you can just about make it out in the white lettering. So I'll just stop this now. This is a coincidence, it's uh, decided to pack up on me, but... And there we are, problem solved. Well, thanks for watching everyone. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have one. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again.